Happy New Year, dear viewers, all over the world. Whenever you are watching me at this moment, I wish you a happy and prosperous year 2022. This year, my beloved, all of you watching me anywhere you are, a divine decree has gone forth from the throne upon this year. And the Lord said to me, to say to you, all those who will be faithful, true and worthy to my cause, in the light of my kingdom, will experience me Behold, they will have a portion in me. I will bestow upon them greater mercy, peace, and blessings. I will abide with them at all times in this year of multitudinous vermin. Therefore, work for me, and my internal spirit will surely work for you unto diverse testimonies. Let us pray. Father in heaven, sustainer of all that is, controller of all manifestations, we thank you, Lord, the owner of the universe, for bringing us to this year, 2022. We thank you, Almighty Father, Because we are not better than those that didn't make it to this year. But it has pleased thee to grant us the opportunity to be in the world of the living. On the physical realms of earth to glorify thee. Use us to manifest your light, your peace your goodness in our world. Thank you for all that you have done. Father, thank you for your finger that is set forth to do more. I surrender our planet into your hand and all the dwellers of this planet. Everywhere, Father, in this world, in every enclave and family, and region and state and country, in every mountain and desert and seas, the depth of the seas, we surrender into your hand. Even of every creation, every creature, Father, I surrender into your hand. Every man and woman, Father, I surrender into your hand. I ask that you comfort supremely in our midst and bring forth the fruits of light and of righteousness, and glorify your kingdom in our midst. Thank you, Father, for all that you have set forth by your spirit to do this year. Let your mighty spirit bring forth benevolence and subjugate the malefic, and let it come to pass that the banner of victory will triumph upon the path of light in the field of battle. In the mighty name of the internal, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Happy New Year, my loved ones, dear viewers, partners, friends, anywhere you are on this planet. The message we have for you this moment is based on the words of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, as recorded in Matthew chapter 10, verse 16, and part of verse 17, which says, Behold, I have sent you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But beware of men. But beware of men. I stop there. This is my message for you this year. Beware of men. We are going to come forth in a different episode. 
to throw more light on that. Because it is written that my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. There are certain dimensions of knowledge that you and I must acquire to guide our consciousness, to guide our ways, to guide our thoughts, to guide our actions, so as to excel on the path of light. Because this year, a lot of things will play out. By the mercies of the Lord, I had a divine visitation. And the Lord himself came into this abode, the abode of his messenger that is speaking these words to you this moment. Things were said, things were recorded for this year and the years ahead, some of which I, I will share with you now, and I will read them out as recorded. But before then, I still want to emphasize the point that you must help yourself by taking a stand upon the path of light this year. Don't let the powers of wickedness, the powers of evil, to determine the basis of your existence. Let the spirit of the Lord that created the heavens and the earth determine the basis of your existence. Beginning from this 1st January of the year 2022, take a stand, a strong stand upon the path of light, the path of goodness, the path of love, the path of mercy, the path of forgiveness. Disassociate yourself from the path of hatred, from the path of wickedness and evil. Because what is going to happen to that path will be of increase this year. The Lord God has his diverse manifestations as we have been speaking on this platform. I have a portion in him you have a portion in him. And he can come to manifestation anytime, anywhere. He is the one that fills the heavens and the earth. There's no spot in all the realms of existence that is not filled by his mighty spirit. Don't know any man in the flesh. Human beings are, what, are not what you see to be in the physical aspect. Go back to the spirit of the Lord to guide you. Because there are more than the eyes can see. I also want to use this opportunity to ad admonish you strongly this year. That endeavor to be more in silence. Walk in silence. It has been said by the wise men of old. Walk in silence. And let your success be your noise. Don't run too much after the material things of this world. Don't even run after the material things of this world. Seek the light of the kingdom of God. And material things will be attracted and they will follow you. From time to time, be in silence this year. Seclude yourself. Avoid much noise. Noise constitutes great distraction to the workings of the Holy Spirit. In your family, in your enclave, anywhere you are. Don't talk much and be conscious of your words. We'll come back to all those kind of things in the next episode, even more about the messages sent to our world by the Lord. But for now, I want to read out specific messages in general terms as related to our planet, as related to you and I. When the Lord came to me, he spoke these words. And by his mercies, by his special grace, they were documented. God bless you as you listen to these words. Dear viewer, thus says the Lord of creation to our world through the messenger that is speaking to you this moment. 
And he said to me, this year, that is 2022, I will shake the powers of heaven. Dominions, thrones, and authorities of the heavens and the earth will lie low, and I will shake the unshakable. Behold, stones of evil reward will descend from above upon the heads of many, even upon the hidden places of wickedness. This year, will not offer a recalcitrant world the desired escape from my warning shot, which dwells in the midst of thee. For even now and the years ahead, the binding of hands will be strengthened. And so shall you know that I am at work in your midst. For the sake of my chosen ones, the elects from the beginning of the foundation of the world, I will surely show myself amongst thee. Revert not thyself to the desert. All ye who have the ears to hear, if you do, behold, the agony shall be yours. My messengers of light in the face of the entire world will be strengthened by the mighty hands of the King of Kings. And I will remember the righteousness of old, the mockery of the righteous unto this day because of them. O oh, having God of the last covenant, how does good flourish in the midst of wickedness? And for the hindrances from evil works, how long will my chosen ones wait upon me? Behold, from the inception of this year, I, even I, will set at naught all forms of wickedness meted out against the innocent, and hindrances will not dwell in the camp of my chosen ones. Behold, the daughters of men Careers of the great dry leaves of death are already fortified in their stocks. By the whims of the dominions and thrones of darkness, they will slay the mighty, even in the finger of instant death. This will be of increase, for it will rise in tandem with the onslaught of judgment, and by reciprocity, of gender, behold, the daughters of men, the blessed, and the dry leaves will be vandalized in the increase of transfer from the world by the tribe of flesh and blood. Having God of the last covenant, know and understand that there will be no let up this year in the raging battles between the forces of light and the forces of darkness. The hosts of darkness do not give up and will not give up till they encounter what is supremely beyond them. Therefore, for the sake of my chosen ones, I will strengthen the ancient ones of my internal light, and they will disarm and make blind the elements of darkness in different families of the world. Let not the chosen ones Hope in any government of the eighth world. <clears throat> and before me, all hope in the sciences of the eighth men have failed. Hope in me alone, the Lord of creation, wherein no disappointment is found. Having out the last covenant, look into the deepest realms of the chambers of darkness and see the works going on there. Don't you see the hidden works of crafts and abominations? Behold, in this year of Mortadanus vermin, this will be bitter for many souls in the world of man.
and for your land, Nigeria, even upon your plea for benevolence, I've set a seal on what is disclosed. Speak to few in the hour where my green light comes to thee. Let no one hope on anyone who speaks a thing and it comes to pass. I alone speak and it comes to pass. Having got the last covenant, the door of my pleading with the children of men to refrain from wickedness and come to me is closed this year. The hot pot of calamities is overboiling to the brim. It will surely explode in the hour appointed. And the children of men will surely know that I am the true Lord and landlord of the world. The years ahead will bear witness to this. Therefore, as I patiently pleaded with the eight men to come to me, so shall the children of men also plead with me, that they may know me and walk in my light. I have fortified all my chosen ones on earth, in every family and enclave, and no unpleasant situation will have dominion over them. Proclaim this in your world, O having of the last covenant. May the Lord bless this waste in our hearts. I bless you with the blessings of the Lord. Other things will come forth later, but I just came out here to wish you a happy new year and to advise you to beware of men and to advise that you should follow the path of light and to advise that you should make a decision to stand firm upon the path of light, to stand firm this year no solution will come to man in all the nations of the world through the government of, the, of men. No solution will come to man in all the nations of, of men through the religions and sciences of men. It's only through the Holy Spirit, the giver of peace, the, the giver of life, the giver of good things. We have to be praying for the leaders of the government of nations so that the Holy Spirit will use them to do the right thing. We have to pray for people in different segments of our world. The scientists that are committed into making research that the Spirit of God will use them to bring forth things that will be of benefit to our world and not things that will destroy our world. The religious men in different enclaves, in different segments, that they should know that love is the only true religion for man to live in love with his fellow man, for man to understand the basis and the practical need for peace, of peaceful coexistence. We have to continue to pray for the terrorists of our, of our world, those that work for the increase of wickedness and iniquity, for the Almighty Father to transform them. We have to understand, as, has been said, as, as was said to me by the Lord, and as read out here, that the network of that, the powers of darkness, they don't give up. They only give up when they encounter what is bigger than them. Put yourself in the position, in your various families, in your various enclaves, to avoid situations where darkness will creep in to have dominion. To this extent, we must avoid quarrel and anger, beginning from our families. We must avoid things that will upset the inner man and cause the inner man to dwindle. We must do things that will bring the rise of your inner man and link you up with the throne. We must understand that we are right now living in the era of God. This is not the era of man. This is not even the era of the angels. This is not the era of prophets. This is the era of God in our time. And you must seek God. And it has been said, that the door of God pleading for us, for man to come and seek him, that chapter is closed right now, before the throne. If man doesn't want to seek God in this planet, things that will happen, even in the years ahead, will force man to seek the Lord. Because this, our planet, has an owner. And the owner, the owner of the vineyard of our planet, 
is aware of all that is going on in our planet. The Lord of the universe. And this is his time. His time has come. So avoid anything that will bring you in collision with your fellow man in the name of fighting for your rights or quarreling. Stop criticism. Stop all, uh, don't criticize people. If you have, instead, go to the Lord in prayers. This is not the time for you to make, think of making your name by criticizing government. government, government the governments of the nations are, ruled by, are governments of men. If you think you can, by criticism, you put this person down, you will rise up. That chapter is closed. You will not rise up. And even you politicians, anywhere you are, you want to campaign, don't campaign by your strength, by your think Who decrees it and it comes to pass? Don't tell people that you will do what you can't do. Seek the Lord. You are created by God. Go on your knees anywhere you are. Say, God that made the heaven and on, on earth, guide me. Because this year, there are things that can't be said. Even concerning our nation. As things begin to unfold, our own is to keep on praying. But our hope comes from the Lord which made the heavens and the earth. So we have to pray for leaders of different nations. Pray for the leaders of this nation. Pray for leaders that are there, the coming leaders in this our planet, in the different segments. So that the Holy Spirit will block the channel through which the powers of darkness throw up some vicious humans in our world. So that the light of God we possess, take hold of human beings, of human consciousness, and use man to do good to man and not wickedness. Once again, I wish you a happy and prosperous 2022. And I pray the Almighty Father to guide us in all our undertakings. And I pray only his will to be done in, on, 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 on earth. And I pray for his light to descend upon all men in this world, so that man will be lifted up and become an instrument of good for the rise of his fellow man, for the rise of our planet, to the glory of the Almighty Father, in the name of the eternal, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Happy New Year.